In this problem, we have to evaluate the limit of this vector valued function. So the way this works is you basically take the limit of each individual piece, and that's it. So at this point, we're actually ready to take the limit, so let's go ahead and do that. So as in regular calculus, if you can plug in this number for your t and you get an answer, uh, it's good. So here we'll get e to the 0, i hat, plus. Now this one here, when you plug in 0, you'll get sine 0 over 0. So there is a formula from calculus that says if you take the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x, that this is equal to 1. This is something from uh, calculus. So here you see that your 2t is kind of like your x. And they both match. So when t approaches 0, this 2t here is like your x, and it approaches 0. So this whole limit here is going to be 1. So plus 1 j hat. You can also use L'Hopital's rule because it's 0 over 0, uh, but this is a little bit faster. Plus e to the negative 5 times 0, so that'll just be e to the 0 k hat. e to the 0 is 1, so this will just be i hat plus j hat plus k hat. And that would be the final answer. That would be the limit of the vector valued function. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.